What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be recommending books based on DCOM extras. Disney Plus just dropped a last week and if you don't know what it is, it is a streaming service where you can watch all things Disney including your favorite DCOM extras. DCOM extras, if you don't know what they are, are Disney original movies and Personally, I wasn't a big Disney fan growing up. I was more of a Nickelodeon kid and PBS, um, and sometimes Barney. <laughs> um, but I love DCOM extras, and I feel like that's why I love contemporaries, because most of them have a similar plot line. And there's so many books that I was looking at during the research of this to come up with a list. And I was like, these are amazing. They should be a DCOM extra, so let me know if you want a video of that where I just talk about that. This is also a Patreon video where I'm going to be giving 9 or 10 recommendations, but here you get 5. So if you would like to get more, go over to my Patreon, Pucks and Paperbacks, it's always linked down below. Only a dollar and you get exclusive videos like these, and there's a full bookshop tour on there. And there's a bunch of stuff. I use it a lot and I would appreciate if you would use it as well. Currently I have five patrons. Thank you to all of them. Their names are always at the end card and I appreciate them so much. So that was my little spiel. I am going to give you five recommendations for DCOMs and before I start I just want to say Simon & Schuster actually has a whole list so I will link it down below. I saw that they posted it the day of, they went on like a different approach. So for me, I just thought of what the movie was and what book is similar. They took the approach where they're like, okay, here are some things that are in the movie. Like here's the messages and here's a book based on the message. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what your favorite DCOM extra is and let's get started. Hi, I'm just gonna walk you through this for a second because as I'm editing, I realized that I basically filmed a whole video for Patreon and I didn't film the clips for this video to go into my main channel because I am a bad booktuber. Um, but here we go. Here's the first recommendation. It is double teamed and yeah, I hope you enjoy. I don't think I have to really go through it anymore. This is just all recommendations based on DCOMs. So, here you go, here is my recommendation for Double Team. Disney Channel original movie based on a true story of twins Heather and Heidi Bird. My next favorite is Double Teamed and this follows two girls who are twins and the one is very athletic and she loves basketball. The other one is not so much and now that I'm thinking about it, there's a Disney show called Liv and Maddie. I don't know if it's on anymore but why is why did they take Liv and Maddie and make it a TV show when that was a decom? Anyway, so what happens is the twin who plays basketball ends up getting injured and so her twin learns how to play basketball and goes in for her and I'm going to be recommending Avant Garde's Volume 1 it is a comic and it is great. It is about these queer college students who are trying to form a basketball team and it's just great. So I thought I would recommend that because um, it does follow like someone doing something new. This girl like played basketball but she just kind of like wants to be over it and she also transferred to a new college and I just enjoy it. So if you want a basketball queer diverse book, I highly recommend that one. Then go and watch Double Teamed after you've read it. This is just me like fangirling over decom extras basically like this is me just being nostalgia for however long this video is next i know i've already said like all of these are my favorite but honestly i think that this is like my all-time favorite this is lindsay lohan's best work in my opinion and this is get a clue this month on disney channel have you ever written something that caused something else to happen lexi's the coolest girl in school but when something she writes leads to trouble, she's got to solve the mystery herself. <laughs> Lexi Gold is played by Lindsay Lohan. Iconic. I honestly am gonna probably watch it today because it's my favorite. I love it so much. And so this follows Lindsay Lohan and she realizes that her teacher is missing and she's trying to figure out why. 
and all her friends think she's crazy. But it's so good, I just really enjoy it. I am going to be recommending two thrillers that I actually read last month. First being The Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPena. This follows a woman who got in a car accident and lost her memory and she's trying to recall the events of what happened because somebody was murdered and she doesn't know why. And they also find someone going through their things in their house, um, the stranger in the house. So I personally didn't think this was my favorite one, um, but I still want to recommend it if you'd like to get a clue because you might like this. It kind of has a similar storyline that there's a mystery, um, there's a house, and there we go. <laughs> um, that's really all the reasoning why I'm recommending this, but I thought I would include it in this video. Next is my favorite book. Oh my god, this was great. Um, and this is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. A great thriller, probably one of my favorites, and this follows a girl who becomes an apartment sitter for this building in New York called the Bartholomew. And there are some strict guidelines where she cannot leave the room, like she can't go and stay over at someone's house, she has to be in the room every night, and she can't have any visitors, and she's nosy and she's like, okay, what's happening? This is kind of weird after a apartment sitter goes missing and so she tries to go and find her and so basically she becomes Lindsay Lohan and like whoever her character was in Get a Clue. I definitely got Get a Clue vibes while I was reading this so that's why I recommended it and if you're looking for a thriller I highly recommend this. I actually have three recommendations for Get a Clue so here's the last one and this is if you want like a YA book because those two are adult and this is This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills and this follows a girl who meets these two twins and she finds out that their mother was a famous painter. She painted something for her children and it was missing so they go and try to find it so this also gave me some Get a Clue vibes, so I thought I would include it. Next, I have Lemonade Mouth. Hard to believe that the story of how their band came to be began here. Next, we have a Lemonade Mouth, and this is actually a book. I haven't read it, but I know it exists as a book. And I actually have two recommendations for this, so I'm gonna recommend them as I explain what this is about if you've never seen Lemonade Mouth before. For the detention part, I'm going to be recommending All in Pieces by Suzanne Young because this follows a girl who is in poverty but she also goes to a detention center after she stabs a kid in the eye with a pencil and honestly if you've read the book and if you do read the book, he deserved it. So there is that recommendation. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. I think, doesn't someone die in Lemonade Mouth? I think that does happen. I'm kind of getting confused with like Band Slam, so I'm trying to like not say that that's the same movie. So for the band aspect, I'm going with The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. If there's any book you should read before the end of the year, it's this one. It's a goodie. It's good. I recommend it. Um, this follows three teens that are grieving the loss of people that were close to them. And I do think that that is a theme in Lemonade Mouth. I'm pretty sure that there's a scene where like, like I could be totally wrong, but I think that something like that happens, but I could be wrong. I could be thinking of Band Slam. I don't know. Um, but I just enjoy this. It does follow a band. It's like in the background, but it's just, oh my gosh, it's just so good. Please read it. Like, I just love it. Please read it. That's all I've got. This is me just peer pressuring you to read this book. It's so good. It follows grief. It follows music, a band. It's awesome. I really enjoy it. It also has gay representation. There's a male male romance. It's awesome. Please read it. Next, we have two more. Um, next is the iconic, like this is like super iconic. Um, and this is Camp Rock. <laughs> I love this, um, especially because it has my girl Allison Stoner, who was my like childhood crush. I loved her. Um, she's great and she's still popping. I love her. Um, so I have, I don't even know if I have to explain Camp Rock, but if you don't know what it is, it follows the Jones Brothers and Demi Lovato and they are at a camp for singing and Demi Lovato's parents like 
work there um, as like caterers or something like that. Um, they just like provide food to the campers and Demi Lovato just wants to like sing um, but she can't or something like that. Um, sorry, I, it's been a while. My memory of all of these movies is from like 2008, 2009. So it's been a, been a hot minute since I've watched any of them. Um, we've just got music. We've got the Jonas Brothers, Demi Lovato, and Allison Stoner. For Camp Rock, I have two recommendations. So the first recommendation I have is Be Prepared by Vera Broskal. This follows her, like this is fiction, but it's still like based on her own experiences at her first Russian summer camp and this is such a good camp story and so I thought I would include it for Camp Rock. And for the music aspect, I have P.S. I Like You by Casey West. This follows a girl named Lily and she is a undercover songwriter basically. She's like very secretive about it and she just doesn't really want anyone to know or let them see her songs. Um, and so I know this this is like a decom book recommendations, but this really gives me Austin and Alley vibes, which was like some Disney Channel show about music with Ross Lynch. Um, so uh, this follows a anonymous crush trope. So if you enjoy that and you enjoy Camp Rock, I think you would enjoy this. Lily reminds me a lot of Demi Lovato's character. So I really recommend these two. And here's the last and final recommendation. Saving the best for last is Xenon. Iconic. Like all of these movies are so iconic. Xenon is set in space, so I have a sci-fi book. And this is On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. This is a graphic novel set in space at like a space school. So we've got a lot of Xenon vibes going on in this book. And so if you haven't read it already, it's really good. It has queer vibes. It has a non-binary character and it's just good. I really enjoy it. Um, and it's really long. It's like a 500 page. So if you are watching Xenon and then you're like, I need more, um, here you go. I got you covered. Hello, I forgot the last recommendation. This is for the Liz McGuire movie, which is basically a Disney movie. I'm pretty sure that it's a Disney original movie. Um, I would say it is. Sorry if it's not, but it is an iconic, great movie. And I'm going to recommend to you Love and Gelato by Janet Evans Welsh. This follows a girl whose mother passes away and she has to go to Italy to live with her father. And her mother left a journal and she gets to learn all about who her father is and who her mother was and have a fun time in Italy, eat some gelato, and she meets a boy. Not in the way that Lizzie did, but I think that these two are very similar. And so if you like that movie, please read this if you haven't. It's a good one. The audio is also really good. So that is my last recommendation. Now to the outro. So those are all the recommendations based on DCOMs. If you are not a patron, go over to Patreon if you would like to see more of my recommendations. I have a whole video um, that I just filmed. And so yeah, I would appreciate it. It's only a dollar. The links are always down below and at the end when the video ends at the end cards. And I would really appreciate it if you would become a patron, but if you can't, I totally understand. Let me know what your favorite decom is down below. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.